Lesson 3, Building Relationships in Your Class. Community, what is that? A place that we develop and grow relationships. Some people stay friends all their life. Some community examples, family, neighborhood, church. Your class is also a community. Perhaps class friendships will start and continue for a long time. One man wrote a book which describes five steps to build trust and relationships. One, establish a united group. You know sometimes people divide themselves into groups. Enemies, bad, block the enemy, throw them out. Bring them together. The student trust each other. To express, students now trust each other a little. They begin to feel comfortable, expressing feelings, thoughts, and ideas. Also, they listen when other students express themselves. Three, support. Students listen. To other students, express themselves support each other, praise, agree, and encourage each other. Four, challenge. Give the students new and different experiences. Challenge each individual to grow. Also challenge the group to grow together. Five, deep discussions while establishing goals. The students will begin to trust each other enough and express deep feelings. The group together creates the goals for growth. Please understand, building relationships requires time. It does not happen fast. Your class will probably only do the first two steps. We will focus on these two steps. First, establish a unified group. What do you do? First, learn their names. You, the teacher, should know the children's names. Also, children should know each other's names. Maybe take turns and have each child give his or her name in the name sign. Explain the name sign. Why? Playing games is a good idea. It helps children know each other. Feel comfortable and grow together in one group. Two, when a unified group is established, the next step is for the students to begin sharing ideas, thoughts, and feelings. Example, get ball and have the students from form a circle. One student throws a ball to another. That student must name his or her favorite Bible story. And then throw the ball to another student and so on. Here's another idea for older kids. Bring up a topic like death penalty. Someone murders a person. Should that person die? Create a line. Standing to the right means yes. You agree he should die. Standing to the left means no. He should not die. Standing in the middle means you are not sure. Ask students to come and stand around the line to show their opinion. Discuss the topic. These are some ideas. You can think of other ideas. I hope you understand the goal. Create one group that works together, learns together, and grows together. 